is on the brink of the next industrial revolution. That was all the talk during the recently concluded World Economic Forum in Davos. To tell us more about that, we have Winston Damarillo, Chief Strategy Officer of PLDT. Hi, Winston. So you were there in Davos. So tell us, what's the fourth industrial revolution? Hi, Jean. Good morning. It's good to be out of nine degree, negative nine degree weather. Um, Davos is very interesting this year. We talked about this, this uh, state of the world in fourth industrial revolution and everybody's really excited about it in Davos. Uh, the fourth industrial revolution is really a state of capability. So we've evolved uh, uh, since the very early days of uh, industries coming uh, to affect uh, humanity from the first industrial revolution where they invented steam and, and machines come into play and we used that you know, in things like locomotive which really accelerated the progress of, of us you know, with, with transport. Uh, followed by the second industrial revolution, which is the invention of electricity, right? And where we are able to then create manufacturing, divided the work, and, and produce more and more um, uh, uh, capabilities for, for humanity. Uh, the third industrial revolution, which we're in, uh, predominantly uh, was heralded by computing and computers, right? Where we have IT uh, impacting the, the way we're doing it's yeah. the, the information industry. The fourth industrial revolution is in the simply, same lifetime. In the same lifetime. Um, now, the, the internet and the computing industry came about 1969, and it's been affecting and improving our lives since then. The fourth industrial revolution is simply just the next stage for that, where we're combining so many new things uh, that we think will have profound change to how we live and how industries will look like. So in the you're next talking 10 about years. automation, artificial intelligence? It combines so many things that have been building up. So first of all, digital and IT has continued to progress. Uh, it, what used to be just computers and the internet is now you know, evolved to having big data and analytics and predictable uh, you know, uh, pred prediction based on, on data and, and technology. We're now able to print uh, things we can think of, right? The digitization of physical goods. How will that affect the Philippines? How will that affect our industry? Well, it's going to affect the industry in general because it's really redefining how industries and businesses will uh, operate going forward. So uh, phenomenon like Uber and Airbnb, the sharing economy, that's brought by capabilities of the fourth industrial revolution. Platforms are easier to come in. It's easier to now um, remediate things like transportation and hospitality because computers are easy to now acquire. Um, that the, the way we do business is now affected. You know, Uber is the largest company in transportation without owning a single car, right? And that's simply leveraging technology and uh, the ability for the internet to connect people So together. it's really changing the business models. But you mentioned that people were excited in Davos, but there are also a lot of fear and concern. One is the loss of jobs. And even an ADB report says 20% of jobs in the Philippines could be lost because of all these sick Well, 20% of traditional jobs will be affected. But what I'm really excited about with the fourth industrial revolution is all these capabilities will bring about micro-entrepreneurship in a really big way. And I think that's, that's exciting for us Filipinos because we like to be in that space. We have so many micro-entrepreneurs in the country, the Sari Sari stores, the people that are doing its own business, and we're natural entrepreneurs. What the fourth industrial revolution will bring to us is a platform to make that happen. So are you saying that this will provide a better an equalizing opportunity that from small players to big players if they take advantage of Small players of will look like big players, right? So we now have a supercomputer in our hands in the mobile phone. We now have near ubiquitous connectivity that's coming up. Right? We now have the ability to advertise and be known, right? simply by advertising in Google, by simply by using uh, um, technologies like uh, geofencing in, in, in so phones. So how do we prepare for this industrial revolution? Because Embrace when technology. About, when you talk about a revolution, it's a revolution, it's all about upending everything. You know, it's never painless. So what's the best way to deal with well, it? Well, the best way for it is to be familiar with technology, not to be afraid of it. The revolution is a lot less about technology, but a lot more about the culture. Right. They talk about the future of telco, it's going to be different. The future of banks, will there be banks? The future of retail, right? What if we don't you know, look at retail stores, just warehouses, where we actually print our clothes uh, in, in, at SM or at Jollibee or at, uh, at uh, Robinsons, right? And think about the world where uh, goods are on demand, right? If, if you need a cup, you print a cup, right? Instead of go sh going shopping for it. So if that's coming about, and it's, it's almost here, right? Tesla demonstrated a self-driving car, right? They can now fetch you from parking lot to yourself. Uh, self-driving cars is upon us, 
And so if those changes start to really become real in the market, what does that do for Toyota or what does that do for Honda, right? And if, if peer-to-peer banking, Bitcoin phenomena actually becomes mainstream, what does that do to BDO? What does that do to BPI? What does that do to our mainstream industry? So this is really going to be a big change and you're saying that we cannot we cannot succumb to fear, but we need to embrace it, and it's going to force everyone to yeah, be. Yeah, we have to attack to it. Look and at innovation. And if yeah. you look at the, the attitude and uh, the mindset in Davos, everybody's looking at this as something exciting, not just for the industries, but also for even social enterprise, uh, where we can, you know, make the impact of technology much more significant in how it affects our lives. Positively. Thank you very much, Winston, for Great. sharing all those thoughts with us. Thank you. Thank you.